tutorial for NoCode HQ and today we'll be building a mobile fitness app um, using Glide and a Google Sheet. So basically this is going to be an app, um, let's say if you're a personal trainer or another kind of fitness instructor, um, you can create your own app base that you can share with customers um, and you can basically set all the training plans and um, basically the, the instructions for what your customers should train and how they should train um, and it, they will be displayed within the app of the customer and only uh, the fitness instructions for the, uh, each customer are displayed and you can just go into the Google Sheet and edit all the information basically according to the customer and yeah, it's, it's an easy way to have your own um, app um, to sell your services basically and, to, and it's going to be a lot more professional. So what you need to do, uh, first you want to uh, create a Google account to create a Google Sheet and you also want to create an account with Glide and you can do both of these for free. And once you did that, you want to create a new Google Sheet and I just call it Fitness and you can call it whatever you like. And the first thing you want to do, let's actually rename our Sheet 1 and let's change this to About Me. So this should just be an About Me page within your app. Maybe so that your customers can take a look at your previous work, uh, who you are, an image of you, just so your app is a bit more personal, so you can just um, maybe have an uh, intro um, name, um, age of yourself, uh, an intro text, okay? Also maybe an image of yourself, a phone number so that customers can call you if they want to, um, an email as well. An email, okay, and let's just fill that out. We just want one row here with data because it's just going to display your information because you're the trainer. So I'm just going to say, Noel, an age, uh, I have been a fitness trainer since 10 years, something like that. And you can write about your experience, who you are, and so on. The image we're going to leave blank. We're going to add that in a second. Phone number, just going to add something random, and the email as well. Okay, the next thing we want to add is the workout. So basically what we want to do, we want to add another sheet and we're just going to call that sheet workout, okay? And this should basically display an individual workout that you uh, create for uh, a user, okay? And what you want to do, uh, you want to now add the fields that should be part of a workout. So maybe give the workout a title, of course um, the detailed description or however you want to call it. This is where you will write exactly what um, your customer will have to do. You can add an image if you want that. Um, what is important, we want to add the date and time. We will use that to filter within our app. So date and time. Okay. Let's actually format that to um, the date and time. So where is it? Date and time like this. Very important also, we want to add the user email. So this will be uh, your means of uh, differentiating between your individual customers because your customers will have to log in with their email, okay? And uh, they will have to share their email address with you first. And every time you create a new workout plan, you just have to enter the email of the user for wh whom this workout is. And only he will be shown his own workout. And we will use this field basically to filter um, uh, amongst the users. So you can add even more fields if you want, um, maybe an image, uh, uh, whatever you like, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. And let's already add our first workout. So let's say um, this is called morning cardio. Um, you can even address the user by his name because you know who, which user it is. So I'm just going to enter my email. So this is a workout for me. Okay. Uh, hi. Let's say, just say Frank. Please go 30 minutes onto the treadmill and run at, I don't know, 6 miles an hour. I don't know how much 6 miles is. I'm from Germany, but I guess that's okay. And for date and time, let's choose a date and time. So let's actually... Uh, 2019... Like this. Okay, so let's say it's... Let's do it today. And... Um, Let's also set the time actually, so let's format that as date and time, and let's say the time should be um, something like this, okay? 
Great. Um, let's go ahead and what you want to do now, you want to create a new application within Glide. What you want to do now, you want to go ahead and create a new application in Glide and choose your fitness sheet as your sheet or whatever you called your sheet. And once you did that, you should be brought into your Glide app editor. I'm just going to refresh the columns. And we already have some data here. However, we want to uh, basically modify it according to our needs. So the first thing I want to do, I want to go to tabs. And uh, let's actually reload the sheet here. Okay. And as you can see, we have our sheet one and our workout sheet. What I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to drag the workout sheet here. Okay. On sheet one, I'm going to rename it to about me. As you can see, it's the source is the about me sheet. You can add an uh, icon, maybe something like profile, uh, like this. Okay. And for the workout, let's maybe add an icon, which is... Um, Um, or maybe just a list like this and let's start off by, by um, basically modifying our about me text and this is just going to be a details page okay with the title is going to be the name of ourselves uh, let's have the uh, the details should be the age as well uh, the image should be our image which is currently blank we also want to have an email field and we want to have a phone number field. So I'm just going to search for phone and this is going to be our phone number. Okay, and it should be allow us to message. So as you can see, we basically now have a tab which is just about me and just gives some information um, about the trainer. Okay. I also want to add an image, but the best way to do that is just to drag that on top of Glide. So I'm actually going to change this back to a list and I'm just going to drag that on top of this field here. And Glide automatically uploads an image for you and saves it within a database. So if we go to our database, under About Me, we have an image saved here now. So Glide takes care of that. So if we go back, let's change back to details again. Change that to, um, should be image now. Let's just reload the sheet. Small mistake, I just noticed uh, the image was uploaded to the email field. So let's actually remove that image here uh, and just enter the image. And for email, we want to enter the email again. So let's just enter that. Let's just reload our sheet. And now, as you can see, we have our great image here. Um, we have our phone number link, and also let's add the email link. Um, where is it? Let's just remove that and add email. And this should be an email. To email, if you just go to email, it's here. Let's just reload that again. So now we have email here, and let's also add an about me text, so just the basic text. It should say about me, and it should be our intro text. So we have a nice, basically, about me page where customers can see information about you and contact you if you want. Now to the more important part, the workout tab. And what we're going to do here, basically, first of all, we want to define the privacy setting of our app. So I'm going to go to settings, and under privacy, I want to say the sign-in method is public with email. So Everyone who gets access to this app, so everyone with whom you share a link to your app, will be able to use it. However, he or she will have to log in with their email. So every user, after using your app and logging in, will be assigned an email. And that's going to be quite important now, because we're going to say, okay, first of all, the style of the workout tab is going to be of calendar. So we want to have a calendar of when the workout should be. But now the important part is we want to, sort by the signed in user by the user email so what does that mean when a user uses your app everyone will be able to see this about me page under workout we will have a lot of workouts for various different people what is important is that only um, your customer should see his own workouts of course and this is we're going to do that by filtering using this email this will be the email um, with whom the user logs in and only this customer, this user, will be allowed to see his own workouts, okay? So as you can see, I'm filtering by user email, okay? And if we go back to workout, um, I actually meant workout here, I entered your user email, if I'm, if I'm going to change this to just a random email, okay? And we go back to Glide, just reload the sheet, you will see the user does not have any workouts here because this is not his workout. This is the workout of the user test at tests.com. And we are actually this user because we're going to log in with this email. Okay. And that's why 
you only see uh, uh, workouts for yourself. Also, as you can see, we have a nice structure here with um, Tuesday, November 12th at 6 a.m. in the morning. We have our morning cardio, which is uh, what we specified here as well, uh, 12th of November. Um, you can choose the date and time. And um, let's just click on that. And as you can see, we have quite a nice structure here. So we have a title here. Let's also add an image as well, same as before. Um, the, let's add the, remove the basic text image. The date and time is important. Let's remove the email. We don't need that. And yeah, that's basically it. So we have the title here of the uh, workout, morning cardio. Hi, Frank. Please go 30 minutes onto the treadmill and run at 6 miles per hour. Uh, and yeah, we can have the image field as well. I'm just going to copy our image here and paste that here. So we'll go back now, reload the sheet. We have an image here as well. So let's just copy this um, workout here. Just create a few new ones. So let's say this is morning cardio. Let's say this is fitness training. Let's say this is yoga and this is football. Okay. Let's say this is the workout plan for this user. Okay. And you can define when and where. Maybe that's on the 13th. Um, like this. Just going to drag that down. That's on the 14th. That's going to be on the 15th. And that's going to be on the 16th. So if we just reload the sheet now, or we have already, let's reload it. We have a few workouts um, and only two are displayed. Let's check why. Oh yeah, we have a small issue here. Uh, I forgot to sort the data. So basically the title, of course, should be the title. The when should, of course, be the date and time. Okay. And we want to order by newest first. Okay. Or actually oldest first, which are upcoming first. So now, as you can see, it's nicely structured. On the 12th of December at 12, 10 p.m., we have our morning cardio. The next day we have morning cardio again. Then we have fitness training at 12, 10. You can change the time. So, for example, let's say fitness training should be actually at 10 in the morning, like this. And if you just go back, reload that, uh, you should see now um, it's 10 a.m. fitness training. And, uh, yeah, you can basically um, modify uh, everything according to your needs. And now your user... In this case, this user has his own training plan and he can look, okay, so 12th December, I should do morning cardio, hi Frank, and you can give basically instructions to your customer in the detailed description field. So for yoga, for example, um, you can write, hey Frank, uh, please uh, do your daily yoga session, something like that, whatever you want to write and whatever the workout is for him. Let's just reload that. Okay, and if we go to yoga, hey Frank, please do your spelling mistake, your daily yoga session. An important thing is now, um, this is of course the workout plan for this user. Let's say he's called Frank. It can of course be that you have several customers and that's why we built this app. And what, what we're going to do now, let's say you have a new customer, she's called Anne. And you can do the same thing now for Anne. The order actually doesn't matter. You just basically create a workout as well. I'm just going to copy that. The only difference now is that you want to insert the user email of Anne. So Anne is going to let you know, hey, I'm going to log in with this email. And so you're going to enter her email here under user email. And this will allow you to filter um, only for this customer. Okay, so now you create another work. Or let's say you have um, swimming and you write, hello, Anne. Please go swimming for 45 minutes. Okay. And date and time, let's just leave it as it is. And in this case, however, the email is different to the other email. So if you go to our Glide application, just reload the sheet again, you can see, okay, there is no swimming here, okay, because this user currently is not Anne, because it's Frank, because we just, uh, we preview this right now as uh, this email, and this is the email of Anne. So if I'm just gonna copy this email actually and enter it here to preview, and we just reload the sheet. Let's just see, that's the email, like this. Oh, we didn't copy the uh, calendar here, so let me just re reload that again. And now, as you can see, um, we're logged in as the user with this email, which in our case, let's say, is Anne. And under workout, there is only one workout on Tuesday, the 7th of, 17th of December, which is swimming. Hello, Anne, please go swimming for 45 minutes.
So it's basically uh, for you as a trainer a great way to insert all the workouts you want here and you just have to filter according to um, what email it is. And to make it easier for yourself, you could even mark within your Google Sheet, for, let's say, uh, so you know, okay, Frank is always this color and this color is Anne, just so you know who is who. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, what you can do now, you can go to, um, let's actually change that back to the other email. So we have some more data. Okay, so we have our nice workout here with all the instructions and the date and time. Let's just go to settings now. You can change the icon of your app. I'm going to change it to fitness maybe or sports like this. You can change the color of all these accents here. Change the style, the theme, make it dark mode if you want. Um, or pure white if you want that. Let's actually change, leave it in dark mode. That's quite nice. Um, you can change the name and so on. The privacy you have to leave at public with email. Otherwise, this won't work. Um, and yeah, so now what you can do, you can share your app, publish it at your app. And if you open the app in browser, in the browser, or on your phone, doesn't matter actually, um, you'll be shown, will email you a pin to sign in. So what, what happens now, a user will have to enter their email address, click on get pin, they will get a pin to their email to verify it's their own email, and then they will be able to log in. And so a user is assigned the email address with which he logs in, and therefore, basically, we can use this field to filter for the currently logged in user. I hope, I hope that's clear. Actually, it's quite simple. But uh, let's just say, for example, okay, you have a new customer tomorrow. Um, he's called, uh, I don't know, Max. And Max says he would like to take part in your fitness program. What you're going to do, you're going to send um, this link to Max now, the app link. He will be shown this page. Max will have to let you know with which email he will sign up. Okay, so he will send you your e his email, okay? He will enter his email here, log into your app, and you can start creating a workout plan for Max. And the only thing you have to do is just enter the email that Max gave you here, and all the, his workouts will be shown within the workout tab. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, we create our own uh, workout app for you as a personal trainer or instructor. Uh, quite simple, but really effective and makes you seem a lot more professional and your customers will be very happy to have their own or for their trainer to have their own app and uh, i hope you learned something today and i'm going to see you guys for next tutorial with no hq bye